Do you wonder why you often feel defeated or not successful while other people seem to ace life? If so, then maybe you might be experiencing a lack of self-love. In this video, we'll cover 5 languages as practical tools for reinforcing your love for self. Language allows us to convey meaning to each other, to understand and to be understood. No matter which form language takes, it is a powerful tool that can be used to build, repair, or destroy relationships. Love languages are no different in their abilities to forge or confound connections. Author and pastor Gary Chapman describes how to use these love languages to show ourselves and partners care in a way that speaks to our and their hearts. We hope to stoke the self-awareness needed as a light on your path to a life of purpose and healing. Number 1. Words of self-affirmation or affirming yourself with words. When one is constantly defeated or not successful, it is not because one is weak or stupid. It is because one is not following the principles needed for lasting success, the key one being, first removing the barriers hindering success. You choose your emotions by choosing the thoughts or beliefs that cause them. Thoughts and beliefs are composed of words. You use words to communicate to others and to yourself. And even one word can set off a series of thoughts, memories, associations, and beliefs. Therefore, you choose your emotions by your choice of words. Being sloppy with your choice of words is confusing and self-harming. You will do yourself an immense service if you, instead, choose your words precisely. The rule that works is, say what you mean and mean what you say. To be complete and strong, integrity or impeccability of your words must embrace you, and extend to all the details of your life. Number 2. Acts of self-service or showing up for yourself. True self-service is making decisions when you are in strength, using your higher brain and all things necessary. And then committing to those things you make a stand for to serve. Filling up your life with that which you want, needing no approval, not having to be good enough anymore, and to never be a victim, and just loving yourself. Deciding not to stay up late, watch TV mindlessly, stuff yourself up with junk food, not deep breathing and meditating. Number 3. Quality time or spending quality time with yourself. Keeping your mind in tune and in balance is also vital to maintaining maximum power. If you allow yourself to operate at a low power level, you erode your confidence, causing damage to your emotional life and building in a lower power operating level, which in turn lowers your confidence, spiraling down into low self-esteem, depression or anxiety. The benefits of spending quality time with yourself are, strengthens your empathy, increases productivity, makes you a better friend, helps focus your attention. Number 4. Showing yourself generosity or giving yourself gifts. The greatest gift to yourself is self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions, thoughts, or emotions do or don't align with your internal standards. If you're highly self-aware, you can objectively evaluate yourself, manage your emotions, align your behavior with your values, and understand correctly how others perceive you. A gift is a symbol of how you self-regulate, given by someone else or yourself. Put simply, those who are highly self-aware can interpret their actions, feelings, and thoughts objectively. Number 5. Physical touch or being kind to your own body. Your body keeps score. We all have denied ourselves sleep, ignored our body's need to relax, pushed it to the limit, filled it with harmful substances, or hated our physical representations on this earth. It often boils down to not feeling worthy of the care, attention, and acceptance required to have a healthy relationship with our bodies. If you wouldn't pick apart someone else's physical appearance, encourage them to eat unhealthily, push them beyond their capabilities, actively harm them, or keep them housebound and inactive, you shouldn't be doing any of these things to your own physical form. We need to respect the vessels of our souls and take care of them like the precious things they are by embracing, nurturing and honoring ourselves. Did you relate to this video? 
Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there who need to hear this. Don't forget to subscribe to the University of Wambi and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thank you so much for watching. The University of Wambi is a school of life and an academy of ideas helping people lead fulfilling lives by connecting 12 seemingly fragmented but interconnected dimensions of life into a universal whole.